Hi again guys, this is a quick video about the Hobby King head tracker. Uh, it's the X Gyro 1000, uh, it's 50 bucks from Hobby King, gives you a dual um, gyro head tracker. Um, and as you can see, I've got it working with AR9X software on my little camera. Um, with, I'll show you the mods at the back, but we've got left and right. The servo's not screwed in, so it looks a bit wonky. And up and down. Now, this gyro in particular I've found loses its centre pretty badly, so you need your centre button. Um, I can see myself using that a lot. I haven't actually used this in the field yet, it's just all on the bench, but it seems to be working. This is a quick look inside the radio of the wiring I did for the head tracker. Um, you can't really see the plug because it's all behind here, um, but you can see we've taken a negative from the, the far right pin here and positive from the middle um, and then the second pin from the left is your uh, the signal pin so that, that's the one that would go to your uh, trainer port um, and then the two wires for the switch which that, that's all not really to do with the radio but the switch is there this is as zoomed in as I could get. Um, my camera won't focus any closer than that, unfortunately. Um, I'll not be zoomed in. Um, so you've got the, the second wire over, uh, or the second pin over, and then you can see the, the right pin and the center pin. Um, I guess you could also use the left pin. I think actually on the circuit board that all goes around and is, is one. So the center is positive and left and right are both negative. Um, but I use the right since that's the one the battery actually plugs into and my switch. Um, while I've got it this zoomed in, I don't know if this will work on the focus, but there's the back of the switch and there's my USB plug. So I've, I've actually pulled out the module, hacked massive holes in the back of it and then put the USB plug in underneath. Um, that's all sort of glued and things now, so that's, I don't think it's ever going to come out. Um, but that's where I put it in, so that way the head tracker just plugs straight in like so, voila. The mixing is very simple. When you're setting up the gyro, you just set it up to whatever channels. It defaults to channels uh, seven and eight on the gyro. Uh, I've changed that to channel one and two on the gyro. And those numbers just co correspond to the PPM numbers here. So i have using PPM one and PPM two. And they're in the source when you go into edit the mix, source, PPM2. Uh, that's all you need to do is just whatever channel you, you've got channel six has got one of the surveys for my cat from my the head tracker on the camera and PPM2, just map PPM2 to channel six. Um, I put a switch in as well so I can disable the head tracker if it all sort of goes weird, I can turn it off and just have the camera looking straight ahead. Um, or actually I made it uh, so it's controlled by the rudder. Uh, if we go down a little bit. Um, and that's it. So you just map the aileron, uh, the gyro channel to whatever channel your servo is going to go on. So once you've got it all plugged in and wired up and got all your mixes set, um, then that's should, that's about it. You should have a working head tracker. Um, I do find that with this one, the center sort of loses it after a while. You can see it sort of keeps working up and down. But if I play with it around, looking around a bit and looking up and down and things, and now put it back to the center, you'll see the camera's not actually up to the center. So that's why the, the head tracker comes with a button here, um, but that's why I rewired the button to the back of the radio. So that way, every time when you've looked around, you look back to the center, and you can just hit the button to make sure the camera is centered. Um, so I hope that's been informative and educational and all that. Um, so please subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks.